Hey guys, uh, today in this video I will show you uh, on how to move in or remove a files uh, using a PowerShell command. Okay, so I have my command line here. I'm in this fo folder. I have uh, uh, two fol uh, two folders under the current folder I am in, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to move contents from uh, the more info one into more info two. As we can see here, uh, I like to do the right one directory uh, more info one. So this directory more info one has one folder and one file. But the more info two, as we can see, it has nothing. So what we're planning to do is I'm going to show you on how I can move the contents of more info one into more info two. In two ways. One is we can uh, sp specific a, a file or a, a specific uh, uh, yes a file or folder. Or we can also do as a wildcard or the whole contents. I'm show you what, what I mean by that. Uh, let me clear this. So if I want to move the, f the file of uh, more info one, the, the, this file into more info two, what I'm going to do is move item. Okay, as you can see also, it's showing me uh, the signature, what I, I should do, the path and the destination. That is perfect. That's good. But also I can do, uh, I can just do myself more info one and test file into the destination. My destination is more info two. So if I do this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the file that is in more info one into more info two. What it means is it will be deleted from more info one. Okay. So now what I can see is I can show you what is in more info one. In more info one is now only the subfolder. But in more info two, now we have the file. So this is how I moved using move item. The, the source and destination and the other is let's say I still have more files uh, let's assume I have more files how I can uh, let's I create let me create a new item in uh, uh, more info test file I like that uh, new path I can do that more info and uh, another file dot text file okay this is a text file so I'm gonna say I will create it mm. yes because there is no more info I have to say more info one right that's good so I created one file uh, I can add content, you remember that, uh, content into this file, uh, how, the more info, one, I think another file, and now the value, no, now the value will be, I can do that, this is a text string, okay, I, I don't have to say it's force, I can just add the string, okay, so, what do I have now? I have another um, uh, more files in more info, more contents. Now a file and subfolder. So this is what I was going to show. Wildcard move with a wild card, which is move item the more info one and then wild everything that is inside more info one move it into more info two. Okay, if I do this, 
I will see more info one empty yes because we said that move everything but in directory 2 I should see the subfolder and the other two files that we move them okay so hopefully this is uh, this helps in using the move command in a PowerShell command uh, the other one is if I can uh, remove okay so if I have now uh, here I have two folders the folder this folder 2 has enough uh, everything but more uh, more info one has nothing so what I, what do you do? so I can just delete it I can remove it so that's where the remove command comes into picture sorry uh, item more item uh, and then I can use this signature the path uh, I like it by the way it's good habit to use that honestly and then more info one let's say if I uh, if I said if I del without the recurse I'm not going to use recurse anymore I'm not, no I'm not using recurse okay uh, what I see I can delete it so no more uh, there but when I do there I can only see more info too more info one is gone because we deleted that let me create it back okay let me clear so let me create it how do I create a, a, a folder add no new new item I'm revising I think I'm helping you I'm revising uh, what we did uh, in our previous videos on how to create a folder and how to create a file and add contents we're just uh, revisiting everything together here but anyway new item and then more in more info one I'm going to recreate it okay so the only thing I need is what minus item type it is direct directory now I create a directory so if I do my uh, if I do there I should see two of them let me create new item okay new and let me create new item uh, inside uh, inside uh, more info one which means the folder won't be in a, uh, empty uh, new file dot text okay so I create a new file now let me remove more info the same way I did if you remember the previous one I did mo uh, remove item and then I can use this path again but let me just do more info one what happens here see now that uh, the more info folder is not empty it's not by itself since it has a children it has a uh, content inside it or a subfolder whatever at this case we have one file uh, it's asking me for confirmation because the file is not empty the folder but actually the folder is not empty so you, you are you sure you're deleting so to get away from this kind of confirmation what do i do then more info recurse that's where it comes the recurse comes that way i don't have to get any uh, pop-up or prompt uh, or follow-up questions so if i do this it should delete the folder by itself and its content and, and, and its children now they're gone so if i do this i only have more info i hope this was uh, helpful guys and don't forget to subscribe and share and like uh, if you have any more questions as well uh, you have you should know that these commands that we just I just showed you are the pre in their preliminary uh, use case because there's a lot of use cases about when removing how about if I remove everything but leaving those guys include and exclude I'll show you in the next time but Again, if you have any more questions or a video or things that you want me to to make, 
let me know in the comment in the comment below for now goodbye thank you